For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I want to show you how you can code in CircuitPython on your phone and beam the code over to your CircuitPython device. So what I'm going to do is I have a Circuit Playground Blue Fruit, and I'm going to go ahead and power that up. I have a little battery on there. Uh, and you can see I have paired this device with my phone. So it shows up inside of File Glider, which is an app for iOS. Uh, and it says, now you can use file app to create, move, rename, delete files or directories. So I'm going to just head to the Explorer. This is now showing me the contents of the microcontroller. And you can see there's no wires, right? Nothing is connected. It's all magically beaming through the air. Uh, and on here, the contents include code.py. That's the main program that's running on the board. Right now, I have this uh, five NeoPixel rainbow running. And all I'm going to do is adjust the code on the phone here to say I've got 10 NeoPixels. I'll hit save. That is now going to save that code.py file on the microcontroller. And then after it gets that, it restarts. Uh, this is reconnected. And now you can see I am running the new code. So anything that you could code in CircuitPython on your computer, you could essentially code right on your phone uh, and beam it over there, which is fantastic. Really easy to get projects up and running in an educational environment or a cosplay prop or costume element. If you want to code something on the fly, it just couldn't get easier than that. So go check that out. We have a guide for that as well as the app. Uh, and that is how you can code for your CircuitPython device using Glider. That is your CircuitPython Parsec.